I believe that women are hungry and we're really hungry to nourish in a way that we know how to turn on the fire in our lives. There's not a lot of reflection inside our culture on how to nourish ourselves in this way in being women who follow their dreams and live in a rhythm that's so different than any woman that ever came before them. We have this fantasy around cooking and we have this fantasy and this perfection piece. Why women feel shame in the kitchen is because they want it to be perfect. We want everything to be perfect and we have to let that go so we can get out of our own way and turn on that fire and cut up that fruit on the board and just get food going so we can go deeper and stop puffing the pillows and worrying about the laundry basket that will always, always be there. I believe that we also have an inner anxiety happening about dinner throughout our lives. Really, it's a hunger in us when we don't know what we're making. Even if I have a small amount of time to get ready in the morning, I'll turn on the oven and throw something in there. I don't have to necessarily prep anything. I just will roast vegetables and olive oil and salt, and I'll just throw something in while I'm doing other things. And then when you leave the house, even if it's 20 minutes later, you can just turn the oven off. You don't need to take it out or do anything, now it can just cook. Usually it's called a mommy bowl. I'll do beans and rice and then I'll put a fried egg on top. There's so many different ways you can make some pizzas. I'll do wood board love, a salad. We do a lot of mix meals because I think it's super important that my kids know what I love. Basics. I love ball jars because you can see everything through them. Wood always feels super grounding. All you really need is probably a peeler and a bread knife and a wood board <laughs> and, um, and really some food that you love. At any point, everyone wants to be in the kitchen. You know, it's not just, oh, how random everyone's in the kitchen. I believe that on a deeper level, our bodies are hungry and we want to be fed. We want to be in the warmth. We want to be close together. We want to be around a wood board love. We want to be around the island or just together in there. Your kitchen should be a place you love. It should be a place that reflects who you are.